Hi everyone, welcome to This Chemical Life. Obviously we are not in the lab today, but we are near a uh, stream which is a part of the watershed in our area. We will be looking for macroorganisms today, which are organisms that you can see without using a microscope. So we're seeing lots of crayfish right now. Oh, there's one right there. No, I don't see any. Oh, oh, there's, there's one. There's one. I got him. Well. Whoa. Okay, wait. Let me okay. see the crayfish, Keats. I was not talking about that. There's another one, Keats. Wait. Let me zoom in. Guys, that's a crayfish right there. It's kind of blurry because so it's not focusing. So crayfish are crustaceans that grow in, in, or that live and breed <laughs> little in lobsters. fresh water. They are like little lobsters. They're kind of everywhere. Um, and they live in these freshwater environments, such as these streams. And they're actually. So there are different types of lice that are signs of like see, how healthy see, it's it is. It's in the middle of the stick. And crayfish. Oh, I see it. And there's another one. And crayfish are actually, you can't really tell. They kind of oh, breed there's everywhere. There's another one. Oh, I can't see it. Did I get one? Uh, but you can't tell how healthy a stream is based off crayfish because they can live in lots of different places. Kitty, I caught it. Kitty, kitty. No way. Look at that. It's so. That one's a lot smaller than the other ones we've seen. Another tiny one. Aww. So a lot of Can things we can me? look for are actually in this tunnel. There's pretty big crayfish in there. Can you an oyster? Just kidding. There's a crayfish right there. <gasps> Dragonfly! Oh my gosh, it's blue. Kitty, I think it's venomous. Kitty! <laughs> Hi! It's a cool dragonfly. There's lots of them. And over here, we've got a budding budding biologist over here, just super bent on her work. See anything interesting, Story? I just saw a fish, but then I tried to catch it. That's cool. Well, I think like the moral of this video is that science and biology, even though like even if you don't have the chemicals or a lab, like go out into your own backyard, you'll see science at work every day. Crayfish? No way, I'm coming. Hold on. So we can't actually evaluate the health of this stream based off just the crayfish. Like I said, they are very great adapters, but we weren't really able to find that much other than water gliders. So we'd have to further do like pH studies to find out how healthy this stream actually is. They're putting their hands in the air like they just do not care, buddies. <laughs> Store is still down hands there. Hands go up, and they stay there, and they stay there. What? <gasps> yeah, and lots of dragonflies. We're seeing evidence of other life, but not really in the stream. But we know that the stream must be slightly healthy because we do have deer and fox and rabbits. Disclaimer, we are not keeping these, killing them, we're returning them right back. Yes. No, we're not gonna keep them. But yeah, we have some pretty good ones. That one's missing. There's a lot of really cool facts about crayfish. Nice. Release it back. All right. Thank you for watching this video, especially uh, biology edition, because we usually, we're usually doing chemistry, and I think we've done some physics. Here's some biology, study of life. Until next time.